what is going on guys it is your boy Sisso here we're the top of the designs of the week week number six so if you guys did not know already last week we hit 60k subscribers and already this week we're at like 60k and like 500 more so like what is going on i have no clue we had, we had like 400 subscribers in like one entire week like what is going like i really don't know what's going on but i'm okay and i'm fine with it so thank you guys so much for the support on the series on the channel and like just straight up don't not just like want to say just really quickly don't forget to submit because like it's a thing we're like really really close at the 100 mark we're getting like we get like an extra like two people each week so let's like let's like bump it up to like 10 or 20 okay and we'll hit like over 100 every single week it'll be pretty freaking dope if we can get up to there i, I don't know it's like a little personal thing i want to have so like I don't know, just please go ahead and submit. You have nothing to lose whatsoever. And I hope you guys enjoyed this week's submissions. Uh, do not forget to follow all the winners that you guys see in the video here today. And of course, do not forget to follow the number one spot. And of course, do not forget to subscribe to me if you guys haven't already. And please go ahead and comment down below who do you guys think was a favorite? Was it number one or was it number two or was it number three? And then just like you should also tweet it at them and be like, yo, I liked you the most because like that'll make their day and all that cool stuff. So hope you guys enjoy your day. And I'll talk to you guys later on Friday. I almost said later, but I will talk to you guys on Friday for my 60K special video, which is something that I have to still do, so I will see you guys then, and I'll tell you guys later. So switch you out. Peace. All right, guys, top the designs of the week. Week number six, number three spot, goes to the Beast 2D designer known as Synergy Peach. This dude sent in a really nice Obey Demarda. Is that how you say, like, that little text going on there? It's like, it has, like, this really cool theme. Like, I know it's, like, an 80 kind of retro theme, I think. Like, I don't get me wrong. I just love, like, uh, also, what is that thing, like, called? Like, a neon sign or something like that, right? That comes, like, hangs out of, like, you know, stores and stuff like that. So that's what I felt like I saw here. But then there's this really, really, like simply but like still still like really hard to do kind of to execute it right with this like nice texture on the actual header design that covers like everything entirely it's kind of like it's almost like dust like within like something like i don't know i just couldn't explain it but it was, it was so like it was so beautifully done like i really couldn't i couldn't place this dude like his portfolio okay like you guys already know that i'm a fan of like contrast and and stuff like that and like dark dark blacks and stuff like but this dude even had like a colorful like he had best of both worlds going on so like straight up monster like what like okay for instance he had like one where it's just like i don't know just like a whole bunch of different colors like i wish that i can execute stuff like that that well i'm still gonna i'm gonna freaking teach myself how to do stuff like that that's freaking sick and he also has he really really does know how to use textures very very well whether it's using textures as one whole i guess like face to like cover everything or more like using textures in different uh, kind of spots to kind of give your uh, i guess your header design depth and just like more creativity flowing through so this dude is extremely extremely good at what he does like i had to get this dude third place every one of these places like we're super super hard to do like trust me it's getting harder and harder okay like we're not even we're not hitting like 100 plus like every freaking week we're hitting like 90 80s like it's okay like i'm perfectly fine i'm perfectly content because this is still dope like people that i don't like what the hell like just okay just look at it and go follow him on twitter twitter.com uh twitter.com slash synergy peach Go follow him and be like, yo, you placed third in his top three designs, yada, yada, yada. Do what you guys do because you guys you guys are making this series a lot more fun than it actually probably should be. But, like, whatever. I'm down. So, of course, all right, we're going to move to the next one and uh, let's get going. All right, guys. Top three designs of the week. Week number six, number two spot goes to the Beast 2D designer known as Neon Rain. This dude sent in a phase lengthy Zelda themed header design, which was completely, like, Dude, like, it was even, it was actually even a speed art of it. Like, I'm probably showing you guys, like, right now and all that cool stuff. But, like, bros, like, I love it. I love it when someone can execute a theme so, so well that it just, you know, you, like, you penciled out the letters, uh, the lettering. He penciled out the background. He put, like, a nice little, uh, like, a wood texture in the background. And he made it nice and cartoony with layer styles. Like, this has to be planned out. It can't just be, like, done. It's just, it's a beautiful thing when someone can do something like this, okay? And, like, the lighting is, of course, it, it actually flowed. Like, so there's actually green lighting within the, also on the text and not just, like, you know, randomly placed on the banner design kind of thing. But, like, his portfolio, like, come on now. Like, he had, like, this really nice, clean concept, uh, like, 2D uh, header designs for, like, the first half. And the other half was, like, all these fun little manipulated, like, theme header designs once again. Like, he had, like, one... Where it was like uh, EXO, but like between two mountains, it was just really, really like I love the cartoony theme. And also, had, he had like a like something like floating letters in a pool, with like the Obey logo and stuff like that. Bros, like that is so that's so like it's such it's so attractive. I don't know, like it's freaking dope. And his uh, logo designs overall, like the presentation was dope. 
And, like, I just love it when someone can execute things like this so very well. So very, very deserved second spot. Like, even close, like, first. I'm getting completely honest. I like to rate my stuff, like, on an all, te all together, excuse me, kind of portfolio theme. And um, this dude, like, you got to go follow him on Twitter right now. Twitter.com slash NeonRainGFX. Be like, bro, you play second on Seso's top three. You should freaking go check it out and all that cool stuff. So, like, please go follow him all that cool stuff. Like, what the hell? Like, come on now. Like, come, like, you can, can you hear me smiling? Ah, I hate people. Alright guys, top of the designs of the week, week number six, number one spot goes to the dope 2D header designer known as Alex, or 2D designer overall, known as Alex Hofa, Hofa, hopefully I'm saying that somewhat right. This dude, okay, so he sent in this really nice Cloud9 uh, theme banner design, right? So he has like these really nice clouds, these seamless transitions, the clean like text, all that cool stuff. All that might seem super easy, but then he just takes to another, like another level. I don't know if you guys can see it, but just pay attention to all the detail in his actual portfolio work, and of course in the submission here to, uh, this week as well. Um, just like the little, the little, I guess the little hue of light on the clouds, like the clouds themselves are very, very seamless. So you have like the depth of the clouds, uh, the overall, I guess like the character seamless transition through the clouds, uh, the clouds, uh, like all this, all this stuff. I don't know. I'm, I get impressed by the most simplest things. And then you hit his portfolio. Okay. And then he hits with this like really dope, like, of course, of course, esports oriented, right? So he has like these really nice, I love the way he has like these fan out, like, I guess picture, like it kind of like fans out, like gets like a little wider toward the edges of the actual header design. He has like really cool spotlights, like hitting the header design. Like, dude, like this dude is really, really sick. And his lighting effects are on point. Like I can see like he really does like the stage light stuff. And like on his phase uh, header design, it says like, or it kind of has like a red carpet theme. Like, bro, I, I don't know. Like he has so much. It's actually really freaking beautiful. And like he just has his nice, really like nice gradients. And like he has like... I, Bro, like he just has everything esports. You have you touch he touched bases on with like jersey designs, all that cool stuff. Like, what? Like this dude is absolutely beast. Okay, so there was no way. I don't know. There's like I don't know. There's clean and there's like simplistic and then there's just like you hit the both together and then there's like beautifully executed. Like either of these people these week, uh, either of these people in this week could have been number one spot. But like I said last week, it's just who I'm feeling the most. And like, I just, I was just feeling this guy's portfolio. So please let me guys, let me know what you guys think in the comments below, who you guys think should have placed where or whatever like that. But please be respectful, of course, but whatever, just like comment out who your favorite was down below. And do not forget to follow this guy right here. Number one spot, spotlight winner. Uh, Twitter.com slash Alex Hofa. Hofa, I don't know how to say it, but I'm um, hopefully I'm saying it's somewhat correct and like not making you cringe completely. But um, thank you guys so much for freaking watching this week's week number six. Do not forget to submit for week number seven. It should be the first link in the top of the description. So please go ahead and submit. You have nothing to lose whatsoever. Do not forget to like, you know, follow all the winners, of course, that you guys probably see in the videos here today. Of course, number one as well. And uh, like I said before, please comment down below who do you think was like really cool? Who do you think could have worked on stuff? Who knows? It's still criticism. It's like I said, these are just my favorites of the week so i don't know you can still you can still have criticism all right so uh yeah thank you guys so much once again for 60k subscribers and uh yeah i think that's pretty much it i'll talk to you guys on friday for my uh, special 60k video and i'll talk to you guys later just switch you out peace